We just finished um, building the, the first permanent pig shelter, um, and it's it's we wanted to do whoop. <laughs> we wanted to, we wanted to do this for uh, the pigs are fighting over there. Food. One of them just lifted the other one in the air. The uh, we wanted to um, we wanted to set up a uh, more permanent shelter uh, and kind of get a, a a fix set up for how we're going to be handling um, water in the winter and also maybe you know help the help the pigs get a little bit more out of the elements. So this is what we came up with. You see right now the the pigs are eating and also this is the uh, the first couple days where they're uh, they're out now in their their uh, larger paddock so they're now in about an acre these four guys um, so this is the shelter here uh, this is mainly constructed out of um, uh, pallets you know, there's three pallets that people are discarding uh, and let me show you the inside here. Hold the camera. Yeah, it'll work. Um, so you can see all the walls and everything made out of pallets. Flooring has got a lot of uh, 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 pine uh, wood chips on it. And the walls, as you can see, maybe, are insulated. So hopefully this will help the uh, the pigs get some warmth. Um, you can see there's a little some gaps up there, but actually there's a roof insulation that comes over the, that that crack there for the most part. There's a couple of holes, but it's better than better than nothing. Um, you can also see there's a lot of uh, chicken wire in here. The chicken wire is to keep the pigs from getting to the uh, to the insulation. And on the outside, <clears throat> you can see there's, there's plastic that's to keep the water from getting to the insulation. We got just I think there's four mil um, plastic on the bottom, and then the top is like heavy duty. I think it's 10 mil. Um, a 10 mil tarp. Um, you can see all the way around is just the same thing. We use these, these wood boards with the, the little screws to uh, just kind of cinch everything together so that we could squeeze it together without having the plastic rip. The one other uh, feature about this that we're hoping works out is this little indoor swimming pool here. Um, we still gotta fill it up since this was just built last night. We just haven't had a chance to completely fill it up. But this will be full of water, and our hope is, since this is dug into the ground, um, the uh, we're hoping the ground heat is gonna help to keep it above freezing, and additionally the fact that it's in with the pigs in an insulated, um, you know, building is is hopefully gonna. Just retain enough heat so that it doesn't freeze, or at least doesn't freeze enough so that the pigs can't uh, can't get through it. Um, there's a few uh, downsides to it. Number one, I gotta climb in there in order to uh, fill it up. And you probably also saw the uh, the wood chips and all that that were falling in. Um, I, it, I think that's just gonna have to be scooped out every once in a while to get a bucket. And, some some little or shovel and just kind of shovel that out to keep the water clean. Um, but I'm hoping that as we keep the water from freezing, uh, so that we can, you know, number one they can have fresh water, and number two we can actually travel for like a day, and, and the pigs won't need constant supply of hot water. Um, they'll be able to do it themselves. So that's uh, that's their shelter for the winter. We're going to build a second one for the other two pigs that are coming and um, hopefully it'll all work out.